A deadly poison may be one of only two ingredients needed to give life to Earth. Life is many things to many people, but if you really boil it down, every single living thing on the planet is a collection of chemical reactions. Everything that happens inside your body is the result of chemistry, and even something as complex as a human involves an immense number of chemical reactions taking place every second, somewhere around 37,000 billion billion. Think of your dog, your cat, your goldfish. Everything in your house is a bubbling little chemistry set, attending to the simple business of being alive. Even within simple organisms like bacteria, there's a lot going on. So, it stands to reason that life is some kind of chemical process. But how did life start? That's the million dollar question, and researchers are working hard to figure it out. A series of experiments carried out in India suggest that Earth could have arisen spontaneously with just two chemical compounds. The first life was likely extremely simple, self-replicating molecules capable of reacting to their environment. One famous experiment by Yuri Miller in 1953 demonstrated that biological molecules could be spontaneously created from compounds likely present on the early Earth. Lightning was replicated in the experiment, and the results showed the spontaneous creation of 11 amino acids, the building blocks of proteins essential for life. However, certain conditions on ancient Earth might not have been conducive to lightning striking and kickstarting life. A place resembling early Earth exists today, Saturn's moon Titan. Its atmosphere is similar to early Earth's but the dense atmosphere would likely prevent lightning from reaching the surface. In the Indian research, conditions mimicking early Earth suggested that life could have emerged differently. The ocean's temperature was higher, and hydrogen cyanide, a deadly poison, was present everywhere. Researchers demonstrated that hydrogen cyanide could react with water and heat to produce biologically important molecules. Using just water and hydrogen cyanide with heat, the researchers produced molecules that could have led to the emergence of life independently in various places. While we know of one interconnected web of life today, there may have been many more that never made it, leaving the mystery of why some life forms emerged and others didn't for another time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.